Hello everyone, I'm Grandmaster Dan Borsch, and this is game four between Carlson and Nepomniachi. And Carlson, as actually I expected it, went for e4. He has been experimenting with d4, but this time he goes for e4, sort of wondering what Nepomniachi has in mind. Decides to respond with e5, which is no surprise, he has been playing this. But a real surprise came on move 2, where Nepomniachi sort of borrows a page from Caruana's book, his idea and way of playing against Carlson. So he's actually been mixing two ways of game plans, the Karyakin match and the Caruana match, so it's sort of a mix of both. Now, Carlson may have expected a... Berlin, so that could have been something that he expected, but instead Nepomniachi goes for knight f6, which is known to be quite a good antidote against one e4, and it usually is a weapon to equalize. Knight f6, knight takes e5, there are plenty of other moves, but this is the main line, d4, d5, bishop d3, and now this is the continuation of the Carlsen Karana match. There, Karana was intending to play bishop d6. However, the older matches faced knight c6, bishop e7, namely the Kasparov Karpov matches. So bishop d6, castles, c4, c6. This is somewhat more aggressive, although it still leaves that knight a little bit loose, and that's sort of the reason why this is considered slightly better for white. Rook e1, trying to again go after that knight. Bishop f5, queen b3, posing some questions as you're over defending e4. Knight c3, takes, takes, b takes, c3, b6. Still variation, this is still opening prep by both sides. White is trying to press on those weak pawns on c6 and d5, while those pieces on a8 and b8 are under develop. C takes d5, C takes d5, Queen b5, putting some pressure on those guys, setting up some c4 ideas. So Nepomniachi moves away the queen. Of course, this pawn is taboo because of bishop h2 check. Take the queen. So white goes a4, queen takes, a takes, a5. And this is a typical move known from the French. You don't move the pawn once because that still be under some pressure and you got to defend it but instead pushes it twice and if you capture that is an open thing and something that Nepo would like to see but if you don't capture then these pawns are defended and knight d7 is about to be played knight h4 g6 g4 a very very nice move with a very deep idea. This knight h4 move actually is preparing this bishop f4 plan and hoping to go after that d5 pawn, which in fact goes for the b6 pawn as well. So this is the whole plan for white to go after those guys on d5 and b6. But of course, Nepo is super well prepared for this match. So even though the idea is deep and seems to be interesting, it's just not quite enough to break through. Black goes knight d7 and goes for immediate counterplay against the c3 pawn. So even though these are weaknesses, black is just in time to counterattack. Chip f4, trades, rook d3, rook e7, trying to combine active play with that weakened b6 pawn. Knight f8, check d5 keeps on rolling a4 again the meta trying to find counterplay on the other side of course you could not take the d5 pawn due to knight f6 check lose so a4 check g5 a3 check and actually here they repeated but there is something that needs to be discussed here even though this position is drawn one single mistake would be enough for Nepomniachi to lose the game so let's say white goes king g2 black should play h5 or h6 for that matter 
to somehow ease the tension on this side of the board. If a black is unsuspecting, after rook a5, there is rook c1, which is winning due to the fact that all of these pieces are completely paralyzed. You go a2, rook c7, queens, rook f7, here, takes, takes, and it's a very, very elegant Anastasia's mate on the board. Now, unfortunately, after h5, the position is drawn and there is no way of breaking through in this position for white. Because if you go rook c1, in that case, there is knight h7 and you do not have enough time to attack the f7 pawn and break through. And then white is actually just worse suddenly. So that's why Carlson decided to pull the brakes and repeat. And that means that Carlson's attempt to switch it up with 1e4 sort of failed. And even though it didn't backfire, it brings back to him to his starting point. What should he do? He may actually mix it up, play it the English way, play it um, instead of e4, go c4 after playing d4 earlier. That could be a way that he goes, but yeah, the ball is back on his court. He'll have to find out a way, which way to continue on. But it seems Nepomniachi is very hot on his preparation. He is combining intel from both the Karana and the Karyakin matches, and it's going to be a tough fight. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions, do let me know, and I'll be happy to answer, and see you next time.